In this tutorial in Cyberlink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to unlock one of the most overlooked tools that you get in Cyberlink PowerDirector. When you buy PowerDirector, most versions, the Ultra version in PowerDirector 13 through 16, and also the Ultimate, have a filter called Adorage from ProDad. And most of them come with Adorage 13 Lite. But it's probably one of the things when you see it on the screen where you're using the program, you say, what is this? And it has no value. Let me show you a little bit about what you can discover simply by playing around with it. What I'm going to do is I have an ad on the screen for a Christmas sale at Westside Chevy. Now let's assume what I want to do here is change the background. I want to add a filter to the background. And I have a, a gray background here. I just took a color board and changed the color to this tone of gray. And now I'm going to go ahead and use the Adorage filter for this. To do that, I click on my FX or press the F4 key to get into my effect room. And then I have a whole bunch of options. Now normally all you have here is this big fat A. And if I click on it, that's all I see. It's at this point in time that, that lots of folks will say, well, who cares? <laughs> I, I frankly don't need this. Uh, it, it, it's not descriptive of anything. And so we'll go ahead and click on some other kind of effect and find something that we consider useful. But watch what happens when I take this Adorage filter, drag it down into my uh, color board, my background track, and let go. Well, what happens at first is nothing. So again, it, it's one more reason why most users say, hey, let's try something else. Well, I'll click on the Effect button above my timeline. And now it says uh, my Adorage filter is applied. I can turn it on or off by checking the button here. Or I can uh, move it up or down if I have multiple filters. Or I can make it go away by clicking on the minus. So if I click here, I simply remove the filter. And then my little eye uh, icon uh, will disappear from my track. But I want to leave it there for now. And now to make it work, I have to click on the button called Standalone Effect. That's one of the reasons it's buried so deep that most people never use it. So I'll double click on that. And when I do, I'm immediately taken to the ProDad uh, management room. And this screen will allow me to manage the filters. So let me We'll go into the details of what these boxes are and how to use them in future tutorials. But what I want to do right now is I'm going to go into the volume 13, which is uh, uh, shipped with most copies of uh, PowerDirector. And then I have all these options of things that I can add. I'm going to click just for uh, the sake of illustration on my short clips. And then I have a section here called Christmas. And if I uh, click on Christmas here, it will show me the filter. There's 01, 02, 03, 04, and 05. I have five variations uh, to I can build on or edit. Again, we're not going to do any big editing this time. We'll just make it simple. I'll click Christmas 02 and click on OK. And now my entire ad has changed. I have this great background of a frame and a Christmas filter. And then I click over here on Movie. And we go ahead and play it. And uh, now I have the impact of that filter on my background layer, my color board. There's a little motion you see and things going on here. We'll get into details later. But that's just one of the ways in which you can use the uh, the extra things that have been built into the Adorage filter system uh, to modify your projects. So don't overlook that little A, and we'll get into more details in the future.